Climate change, our responsibility. For millions of years, our climate has been changing due to natural causes. As from the pre-industrial era, however, human activity and its related emissions have been the principal cause of current climate change. Its effects are increasingly evident and affect us directly. We are responsible for climate change, but working together, we can also tackle it. Cities face a great challenge. They are especially vulnerable because the majority of the world's population live there, and this is where energy is consumed most intensively, generating 70% of greenhouse gas emissions. Barcelona is a compact and mixed Mediterranean city which consumes a low amount of energy and generates low emissions per capita in comparison to other cities with similar characteristics, but it still has a long way to go. In Barcelona, the reduction of emissions must be tackled transversally in all fields, in mobility and transport, in buildings, whether domestic, commercial or providing services, in the production and treatment of waste, and in industry. How can climate change affect us in Barcelona? Reducing emissions is a global commitment, but the effects of not doing so are local. The projections developed by the Meteorological Service of Catalonia focus on two possible scenarios. One involves a higher commitment where the objectives regarding the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions established in Paris are achieved. The other scenario is more passive, where we continue increasing the emissions at the current rate. If emissions continue to increase globally, the temperature in Barcelona could increase between 2 and 3 degrees, from the middle to the end of the century. If, on the contrary, the Paris objectives are achieved, the increase would be between 1.6 and 1.7 degrees. This would imply an increase in the frequency and duration of heat waves, tropical nights above 20 degrees and of torrid nights above 25 degrees. On the other hand, it is foreseen that rainfall would be reduced by 26% by the end of the century. This would lead to an increased frequency of droughts at the same time as an increase of torrential rains. The climate could be more extreme and this would affect our urban environment, especially our health and quality of life. But climate change will not affect everybody in the same way. There are neighbourhoods in Barcelona because of their location, socio-economic situation or quality of the buildings and some people, due to their age, condition or health, which are more vulnerable than others. Actions will have to be prioritised so that the effects of climate change do not have unfair consequences for the disadvantaged. Barcelona responds. What are we doing to reduce greenhouse gas emissions? The aim of mitigation is to decelerate global warming. Accordingly, Barcelona is working on a process of energy transition and a change in the city model. Measures are being taken in order to promote the saving of energy, increase energy efficiency, rehabilitate buildings and achieve more production of renewable and local energy. More sustainable forms of mobility are also being developed in which pedestrians, bicycles and public transport are the priority. This is why the citizens play an essential role in tackling climate change. Meanwhile, the city is preparing to combat the effects that are already being noted. This is called adaptation. None of these foreseen impacts are new to Barcelona, even though climate change intensifies the risks. Emergency plans for heat waves or droughts exist. Water is being saved. Alternative water resources to drinking water are in use. More trees are being planted in the city, and there is an increase of green spaces as they provide more shade and coolness. Barcelona's commitment to the climate, supported by more than a thousand organisations in 2015, established the aims of reducing the emissions of CO2 per inhabitant by 40% with respect to 2005 and increasing the number of green areas by one square metre per inhabitant. This is why a new climate plan is being prepared, which integrates mitigation, as we cannot allow a context of economic recovery to lead us once again to a period of unsustainable consumption, adaptation and resilience, because we have to foresee and prepare ourselves for the climate change that we are already noticing. Climate justice, because those people who are vulnerable should be at the centre of climate policies. Boosting citizen actions, promoting projects of co-creation. Barcelona will have a plan, but this plan will be of no use without everybody's collaboration. Should we do it together?